run to failure. It's also called reactive maintenance. It is an action taken to repair equipment after they have failed. Simply put, don't fix it if it ain't broken. They say it now. Man, I never spoil it now. Yes. Why are you spending money? You don't like spending. You don't like to spend money. Money. Use it. Use it like that. You can say push it a little bit more, mm -hmm. right? Now, in the early days of my career, I saw no sense in this. Why don't you let it break down? No, no, this doesn't make sense. But as I understood more about money, understood more about what makes up um, service. If I have a call out to come and service this door, I'll probably be wasting so much money just to service this door. Why not wait until this door breaks down and I call for repair? Yeah, you have to wait, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, now, what we are saying basically here is run to failure as a strategy is potent for certain types of equipment. Small equipment. It will be costly for complex and critical equipment. So equipment that the impact is not very heavy, they, they can afford, you can afford to do without for a day or two or three by replacing or repairing. Why do you have to call somebody out every time to come and be servicing? It's a waste of resources. So it's very important. Okay? It's basically, it's broken. Come and fix it. And what do you do? Check what made it fail. I said the problem is assemble the system. This is the whole repair process. We assemble, verify, function, and you know, just fix things. When should it be used? Sometimes some maintenance procedures are complex. Um, yeah, like pumps. Now, I've I've we've got something more complex than that. You know. Um, people say small things, I use door handles and door locks and I say small things. Mm -hmm. But you know those very large uh, subscription panels, high tension panels, mm -hmm. where you have a lot of computerized, mm -hmm. configured stuff. Which mm -hmm. of the chance, if you tell people to go and service that panel, mm -hmm. it will never be the same again. Mm -hmm. yeah, this it is complex. Mm -hmm. The layout in there is complex, very delicate. There are oils flowing to cool that system from inside. There are automatic bus bars. There are switches that happens config pre-configured. You go there, you pull it out, and you what are you looking for? What are you looking for? The moment you finish recoupling it back, all kinds of issues start. So for me. I will label that thing. It is 12 million in cost, but I will label it run to fail yeah. as a strategy. With the manufacturer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, but you know what some manufacturers actually do? Mm -hmm. Even though they will say run to fail, they will recommend a thermography imaging maintenance, which is actually not maintenance. Because what that does is you just come and take a picture of its heat signature. If something was going to fail, it would show warming signs mm -hmm. in that camera. Mm -hmm. But I look at engineers in Nigeria, you know, at the time I looked at a demographic imaging camera, I couldn't find for three months. You mm -hmm. found? I found. I found eventually. <laughs> They're not expensive. Engineering companies will tell you, oh, we will service, transfer, we will service, we will pull it apart, we will change the oil, we will change the... What? Excuse me? That's not necessary. We're going to break things down. Just get this camera in. Take a snapshot. If it shows all green, thumbs up. Machine keep working. So you need to, 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 to service transformers? Ideally, 
No. You do thermographic imaging for heat signature and then you do oil tests. Yeah, it's servicing. It's, it's actually servicing. You don't test on the oil quality. You know, they're all part of servicing. We'll discuss all of those. We don't necessarily say, we we'll, we'll never call those, we don't call those ones run to fail. We call them a different type of maintenance, which we'll talk about. But they're never PPM. They're not something you just wake up every Monday, every month, every quarter, you go and do. So we are going from simple items like door handles to complex items because maintenance on complex items can lead to problems. So you use a strategy like that. Okay. Costly for PPM. I talked about somebody coming, driving down his van with his team just to come and service something. If you check how many times that person is going to do it for the two, three years of the useful life of that equipment, you probably will say no. You know, let's just use it for one year. And replace it. If maintenance is going to be two million over two years, the equipment itself is two million, right? So I'm going to spend four million, right? Now, if I buy the equipment two million one year, and I buy it again two million next year, but then I don't have that maintenance guy, a contract, a downtime for for maintenance. I don't have any of those. It's a place is going to be cheaper. <laughs> so, I cut it off. Okay? When the equipment failure has minimal impacts, so there are some equipment that they will fail and nobody will even really notice. Just, just keep working. Okay, so those ones you don't need to have a, a system in place. You can do run to fail for it. Advantages minimal staff, low cost initially, but of course, you know this is. Rear end loading now because ah. when it breaks down, because they're very good. Little demand of maintenance planning, then you don't plan much. A major disadvantage is that we do not actually have funds planned. So if you are adopting a run to fail, um, when you have an asset register, you have 50 items in your asset register, you want to develop a maintenance plan, you must first of all indicate in a column the strategy. Write the strategy first. Okay? From the strategy, you now go on with the maintenance activities and the schedule. Okay? This is at the cost. So, for run to fail items, if I put run to fail for a refrigerator, of course, I'll be a refrigerator run to fail, isn't it? What kind of maintenance will I do on the refrigerator? They just wash it every week or so. But that's not. Pardon? The no. If you ask me, if I check the price of the refrigerator, <laughs> uh, I will, I will leave it wrong. That's me. You know, strategy is your decision. Yeah. Yeah. To me recently, I said, I need to choose this refrigerator. I said, what wrong with it? And the compressor, how much is it? Exactly. 30s. No. Leave it. <laughs> you understand? Table top fridge. Table top fridge. 32K. I'll buy another one 50K. I'm okay. I just told my son and I said, look, go buy me a fridge. <laughs> That's it. So, yeah. the decision to use a particular strategy is yours. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you must plan yeah. for that strategy. So, in case of that fridge, I won't service anything. I will just put as my maintenance plan 2017, 70,000 for replacement. You understand? Okay. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'll just put it there. Okay. So it is in my plan with a date yeah. that I'm spending 70000 yeah. Instead of 10000 every quarter uh, for six then, quarters. And then still an old fridge. Yeah, it's still an old fridge anyway. <laughs> so you have to plan. So advantages, repair costs, staff resources not efficiently used. Because something breaks down. People have to be diverted for what they're currently doing into responding. Okay, uh, equipment will not be reliable anymore. At some point, you can't predict when that equipment will be available, and that could be disastrous if that equipment is critical. Downtime is often difficult in controlling budgets. This is what I said about planning to ensure the money is there. You know, sometimes you see your budget is your budget is ten million, and there is that seven million there. People are wondering the money is big, old, and this is September. It is budget the out of that seven million standing there, six million to replace the generator in November. <laughs> you understand? Because that is the plan. Mm -hmm. But somebody sees it as there's money there. Let's choose it. I start to play choosing it, what happened to the gen? 
He shuts down. Helps us get our sense in. You know? Okay. We have finished the resources. That's right. We plan works. In, initial capital cost investment, nothing as in mind. So you just think, um, you spend a bit too much, and then we'll get so much. It doesn't all of those. Let's ask questions about uh, round to failure, advantage, advantage.